So, the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin just finished this book. I have also read the biography of um, him by Walter Isaacson, but uh, this is his autobiography, what he has, uh, that he has wrote himself. And it's not necessarily that easy to understand because, of course, like uh, he lived like in the 1700s, yeah, 1700s, and so, yeah, of course, one of the founding fathers of America, he was a great inventor and uh, like a politician as well and everything, did a lot of stuff and was really uh, successful. He started from really like the bottom. He was like walking with like just some uh, bread in his uh, arm when he was like starting out and then he uh, ended up like dining with the queen, uh, with the kings. So uh, yeah, m the most interesting things in this book I think are his schedule that he shares in one part. It's like that he wakes up I think uh, was it at five and really early and then just works like four hours. Uh, or he has like some kind of morning routine, I don't remember what page it was. He has some kind of morning routine, then four hours of work, then again uh, like some lunch or something was there, then four hours again of work, and then some evening routine, and then he goes to bed early at like nine, I think. So it, the saying is from him actually, early to bed, early, early, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. So great saying. And this is like a great personal development book and everything you learn from him is like great personal development things here. There is also, I think, I found it interesting that he discovered himself that if he would get a guy or a person to, uh, to, to um, let him borrow a book from him, if, he, if they would borrow a book uh, to him, then it would be easier later to get them to do some other kind of favor or comply in some other way if they would do a small favor first. And of course that's just psychology. Robert Cialdini in the book Influence also talks about that consistency, consistency bias. Like if we do one thing then it's uh, more likely that we stay consistent with that action and we comply with that person again, maybe even in a bigger way. So <coughs> like if you can get someone to pay you a small amount of money then it's easier to get them pay a bigger amount of money later. But yeah, like this is this book is like not that long to read, a couple of hundred pages, probably a little bit un hard to understand. I would say uh, I found it a little bit hard to understand. But some things I really like found really interesting and understood. And so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My take on this book. Uh, it's linked in the description, by the way bookdeeperstore.com. I order my books from there as well. So check that out. That's a great way to support this channel. Um, if you want to support this channel, the, if you use that link, bookdeeperstore.com will pay me a small commission on that, but you just pay the normal price and they pay on their profit uh, to me. So yeah, and subscribe to this channel as well. I give a lot of like reading ideas to you if you're wondering like what to read next. I give like the best book, uh, I read the best books and recommend them for you. So thanks so much for watching and remember to hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. <music>